Hey YouTube, how's everybody doing? Hope everybody's doing well. This is Thomas with Mr. Fix All in Holman Garden out of Raleigh, North Carolina. And what a beautiful, beautiful day it is. Cold this morning and it's warming up already. Well, let me give you guys an update. Uh, of course, last couple of uh, videos, of course, you see me get the big uh, dump truck stuck uh, in this uh, mud field that I've got. And uh, Mr. Tate, the local farmer, was gracious enough to come out and uh, pull us out. Then yesterday, I rented a John Deere four-wheel drive diesel tractor. And, uh, well, you can see, now this is 20,000 pounds of uh, 57 stone. And as you can see, what it's done, it's just buried itself into the mud, you see? So, hey guys, how's everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing well. It's Thomas from Mr. Fix All Home Garden out of Raleigh, North Carolina. Uh, let me do a little reflection here. Uh, I've never built a road before. So, in all reality, uh, what I'm learning is this, is that you can't just come in, lay some gravel down, and have a road. It doesn't quite work that way. Uh, as you can see, this road is holding up pretty good, but this is already an existing road. It was compacted. You know, so just putting 57 stone on this uh, is okay. You know, it's holding up real well. A bunch of trucks have come up here, a bunch of heavy trucks. But as you get in to the property, uh, and if you see any of those really big construction sites, they use a stone called 39 stone. And uh, anyway, you can see the difference. You know, this is 39 stone. And... That's 57 stone, you know. Anyway, so I went ahead and had a load of 39 brought in this morning. I was going to rent the tractor again today to spread this out because I've got to, like I said, I got to reconfigure my situation. I was going to put the shipping container basically down there, but now what I got to do is put it on the high side of the land over here. So I'm going to have to remove this gate uh, because. I'm going to try to get this shipping container up here next Monday when it freezes. It's supposed to be like 20 degrees. And uh, the ground will be hard enough. We'll have one week where there's been no rain up here. Plus, with this extra stone uh, spread throughout the driveway, that gate removed, then I can come over here and just basically make me a, uh, a 10 by 40, uh, 10 by 40 path. Excuse me, the wind is really horrific today. But build me, a, you know, I've already got it kind of started here. But I'm going to run this gravel right out over here. And this is the really highest part of the land right here. So I'm going to put the shipping container right in here. And that way the truck... Sorry, sorry about the finger. Uh, that way the truck, when it comes up the road, it can back its way in. And basically just really come in on a straight line. And then drop the container and then get out of here. And I'll figure out the rest. I'll build the fence back around it. And then uh, reconfigure where I'm going to put the RV and a couple other things. Uh, but I just thought I'd give you this update. Like I said, this is a major learning curve for me. But it's all good. I love it. And uh, again, I'm getting uh, a lot of uh, other viewers, uh, subscribers to my channel. The Oily Prepper. Appreciate all the comments lately. Uh, thanks a lot. I appreciate that. Bee Machine, you're my man. And Rascal71, thank you for uh, talking about Murphy the dog. Uh, I like Murphy. He's really old. Uh, he probably might got a couple good years left in him, but I, I like that dog. Uh, him and I have always gotten along. And uh, Patricia, my friend, she's coming up this weekend. We're renting the tractor, and we're going to come out here and make a day of it. So, YouTube, you guys have a great day. And remember, subscribe. Always leave a comment. Always leave a comment. Thank you, guys. And remember, hit the like button. I'll see you guys later.